just tell me um what's your passion behind it like well, I mean, I mean, why are you fighting so, like mean, back in our day we used to hide like oh girl you clockable what is it for you today in this day and age i think it's a it's a combination of you know um you know, I've kind of been this community activist person my whole life, and now I'm just trans while doing it. You know, I, I got HIV as a teenager, and, you know, there was not a lot of support, and there wasn't a lot of community around me. And so, like, I had to kind of create it, and I had to try to connect with it in order to survive and in order to, like, maybe even thrive, you know, and then getting into recovery, you know, it's the same similar thing. So, I think as I've gotten into my transness and it's been difficult that the answer for me is to try to build community. You know, sometimes all I can, the best thing I can do to try to connect with someone is to get on camera and, or get into social media because, you know, I, I have a hard time maybe connecting with the people in my neighborhood, right? Like maybe I can't leave the house or whatever, but I think a lot of my desire is still somewhat selfish in the sense of I need it for me. Like I need, a world that I can feel safe in and feel connected to. And and also, I want to be for somebody what other people were for me. And I know that happens oftentimes just by existing, just by showing up in places and being seen, doing mundane things um, so that other people can see that it's possible, you know? And so and that's like the spirituality of it, right? That's the reciprocation that that's can That's the Mulvaney part of it. Right. Well, and you have to, you know, like in our world, we know that you have to give it away in order to keep it when it comes to sobriety. And I feel that same way about my, you know, I might be so far behind you in transitioning, but there are people who are yet to get where I am. You know what I mean? And so them seeing where me, where I am is going to help them to get there just like you being further along is helping me as well you know what i mean i think that's great and for for as far as my transition i'm still transitioning i don't think i'll ever stop transitioning because the world is changing mm -hmm. so with that my values have changed you know what i mean my beliefs are changing i'm yeah. being more um compassionate um i'm more comfortable in my skin and i'm more i'm more comfortable with speaking about my truths you know mm -hmm. Um, I'm not afraid to stand up for for the little guy. You know, I'm, I I root for the underdog, and that that's who I've always been. You know, I'm just more stronger and more vocal about it now. You know, I came out at work and I'm like, well, just so you know, you know, this sister is 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 you know, she's Wait, all she, you know. I'm not only am I black, I'm also trans. I'm also loud. I'm also funny. I'm a little ghetto. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm very passionate about my job. Right. So they know what they're getting when I get there. When I go hard, I stay hard. You know what I mean? And I don't want you to take that the wrong way because I'm cut. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Carrie says, um, that is a beautiful thing. I feel the same and don't have to be trans to value everyone's experience. Exactly. Yes, Carrie. Exactly. It's just our experience.